Well, I know I'm not supposed to be buying anything before the convention, but some things you just cannot pass up on. It's taken a while for this figure to finally hit uh, retails. I mean, basically the whole line to hit retail once again, uh, the mass docking figure. Now, two Walmarts I went to, um, they had the, the mass docking, of course, and it was funny that both of them had the same exact figures gone. The I'm assuming it's the black suited Spider-Man, big time Spider-Man, and then of course uh, Phantom X, but the only figure's gone. So I caught that one, and bam, one more. So you know, I had to get two of these bad boys. The goal is three. All right, you might say that's a little ridiculous, but that's the way I do it. I always end up having, especially a character like this, you can have one uh, open, one on the wall, and then one, of course, uh, I take off the claws just like I did the unmasked version. That's just the way I do it. But um, it looks like these things are finally hitting retail here and there. I think like two weeks ago, uh, New York was flooded with them. A lot of people were able to cop uh, both of these figures. Um, again, I don't know why this has happened, why Hasbro has decided to push or wait so long to release these figures. I mean, in an abundance. And it looks like it's gonna have. It looks like it's gonna go with how um, they originally came out. Uh, of course, the WalMarts I went to had Thunderball, not Thunderball, my bad, Pile Driver and Madam Hydra. And then of course you'll have the another go around, which will have you know Thunderball and um, uh, Madam Mask. So be on the lookout. These things are hitting, and it seems like Walmart is the only place that is having them so far. But we all know that Target sells these eventually. So just be on the lookout, guys. That's all there is to it. So the bone claws are a little warped. Not too bad. They are straight. They're just um, angled a little too close together. So I'll try to fix that real fast. All right, just a little, little time under the hot, you know, the hair dryer. Maybe about not even 10 seconds if best and then splash it in some cold water get it molded how you like it You can see it comes out really nice get a nice even space between the claws um, Everything is straight and perfect. So just a little um, it's a little technique just to get these uh, You know claws, you know back to the normal because inside the package they can get warped but this technique is real easy, real simple to use. I mean, even you can even run it under some hot water. Um, the problem is my hot water sink doesn't get too hot, so I usually go for the little hair dryer technique, and that works. So we'll get him with uh, his other uh, figures real quick. So here is the mini faces of Dokken. So you see I got one just uh, with his claws on, just regular, just how he is, unmasked. And then here goes the one where I just, all, just took off the, the claws. Just a simple, just a little cut. Nothing too extreme. And then of course the masked one. Um, the difference is between this one, you can see the face sculpt. Doesn't have any kind of expression on his face whatsoever. Nothing while the unmasked, he has that kind of smirk to him. Um, let me know which one you guys like better. I kind of like this one with the little smirk on his face. Because, of course, in the comics, he is a weird dude. I mean, that guy is trippy, but... Um, I do like the mask version a lot. I, I think the figure itself is really cool. Uh, it's a good likeness to him in his uh, Dark Wolverine suit. Just because, you know, he's a thin character. He's a little taller than Wolverine. It appears in the comics. I'll have to do a couple of um, uh, back and forth, show you guys the difference between that. But, all in all, I think it's an awesome, awesome uh, figure. But it would be nice now if they would give us um, his newer costume. Because what's the point of having Dark Wolverine if we don't get the Dark Avengers? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You can tell Dokken has a good size over uh, regular Wolverine. Now all these figures are from Hasbro. That's why I use them instead of the Toy Biz one. Just because I think this is the more accurate Wolverine for size uh, compared to anybody else. Uh, even mass version is way taller. That hair really pushes him up there. So you got him standing flat, back to back. Bam. So, very good likeness. Uh, very good compared. 
next to regular Wolverine. Um, essentially, you know, just it pays to hold off, guys. It really, really does. I've heard a lot of people, you know, paid some big money just to get this figure. I mean, they just had to have it. You know, the ones of, you know, the many of us that waited and waited for a while, you know, it pays off good being able to get them at retail. So, you know, just keep an eye out and they'll be hitting your store real quick. So essentially, this is why a lot of us like to have, you know, doubles and triples of figures. Just for different display purposes we can use. So you can see, like, we got a uh, Doc in here just grabbing the mask. Next thing you know, we've got him, you know, pulling down the mask. Which is kind of why I definitely want to get another one of these. So I can take off the claws on this one. So you can give him a more relaxed look uh, of him pulling down the mask. The next thing you know, I'd have him right here, like, you know, fully you know claws out and everything so that's for all you young collectors out there you know thinking of really getting hard in the ACBA or just really um, displaying your uh, collection to a certain degree I mean this is like I said a lot of us like doing this just for that fun factor reason alone you know we're getting close to Comic Con when I break these bad boys out Oh yeah, get my Superman shoes nice and cleaned up, ready to go. You know, these I only wear during the Comic-Con conventions. You know what I'm saying? These are the specialty shoes. Now, I don't wear them every single day down there, of course. Still got to find some clothes that match with it, but these are my bad boys right here. Like I said, I only bust these out during the convention time. We are getting set. So we're just a few days out to the convention, um, getting excited, getting everything packed up. So all you newcomers out there, this is some of the stuff that you might want to take with you on your trip. This is what I do. Each trip, I always buy myself some brand new socks. All right, it's very important because your feet will be sore. You'll be walking a whole lot. And my dumbass, I keep wearing my damn Jordans every convention, and Jordans are not meant for long distance walking. No, they're not. So I always get the nice cushion socks. See, they have that little extra something in there, so it actually really, really helps. And I always get ankle socks. I like ankle socks for some reason. So it's nice to keep your feet protected at all times. Get some nice wife beaters, you know, that helps absorb a little, a little sweat. You know out of your system so you're not all you know your shirts aren't all stained up and you got all them pit stains everywhere uh, another thing you people deodorant I've said this years ago keep some deodorant on you at all times in your back pocket in your bag wherever because you will have to apply it regularly you don't want to be that guy in line and everyone's looking at like man you smell that dude over there yeah you don't be that guy keep that on you and even throw in some axe here and there now, I don't really use Axe too often, but on these conventions, I definitely do. I bring them everywhere I go uh, to every one of these conventions. Of course, my cologne as well, but that's a different thing. Also, it's very important, people. Very, very important. If you don't get one of these, then I don't, I don't know what to tell you. But we'll be doing a lot of drinking out there. All right? But we'll be safe and no driving, just walking. All right? You can tell you, these things are easy. Just unscrew it. Pour it in your drink, a little mixed drink here and there, and you're good to go. And get yourself some new undies, all right? Nothing more comfortable than a fresh pair of undies while you're walking around. I'm trying to tell you people. So in the ACBA community, uh, over the weekend we had bat a day which is basically, you know, kind of the Batman theme for the, the weekend. So one of the things I like doing is little, um, you know, what ifs here and there. So I added this uh, Night, what is it, Night Shadow Batman um, to the list because he fits in just pretty much perfectly with the X-Force team. But, you know, with that comes um, the fact that, you know, X-Force is killers and Batman isn't, you know, a killer. But I always put the post up there like, you know, which Batman is it? I mean, is it Bruce Wayne? Is it Thomas Wayne? Is it Jason Todd? It could be anybody. It could be Deadpool in disguise. So basically with um, this new X-Force pack coming out, we're 
pretty close to completing the X-Force team, you know, the very violent X-Force team. Um, I still would love for them to complete the first team, which had, of course, um, X-23 in there as well, Wolfsbang, and who was that other kid? I can't remember his name, but, I mean, whichever way they go, I mean, it'd be nice to actually finally complete some of these damn teams, but you never know with Hasbro. I mean, who knows what's going on, but, of course, we are getting the Deadpool again with uh, the new wave that's, you know, approaching so I believe that's in September. Uh, I think it's still on pre-order for Big Bad Toy Store. So that would be the best spot, you know, if you don't want to waste any time getting it. Seeing that it is September, it'll probably be November with Big Bad Toy Store. But the fact is that we are getting a little closer to uh, finally completing these damn teams. Okay, I took Batman out. All right, and part of the must-own, here we got Bucky Cap. Now, this is from the Captain America movie line. Um, the, originally, you got this figure in the the battle pack. I can't remember which one it came in. You know, the one with the, the gigantic battle pack. I think that's what it was called. Um, I can't remember which one he came in, but you can still get this guy in retail. I mean, here and there, a lot of people have the Captain America movie figures on clearance. But it's such a great figure. That paint on him is just so damn clean. It's got a nice, vibrant, shiny paint uh, where the blue is. The gloves are nice, shiny paint. The black is really, really deep uh, black. So it just works so well. You can see underneath there the costume itself. Uh, such a cool ass figure. Comes with a knife, a gun, and a shield, of course. So very, very nice figure, underrated figure in my opinion. It's got the newer articulation, except for it doesn't have the ankle pivot, but it's not too bad at all. You see it's got a, a diaphragm joint, or swivel I should say. Good up and down on the head movement. Uh, definitely, definitely worth picking up. And you can see how good this figure is. They just decided to blow him up into a six inch scale. Um, if you haven't already known that this Bucky Cap is a muscle owned figure itself, it's probably one of Hasbro's best well-designed figures that they've produced in a long time. I mean, they did an excellent job with this figure. I mean, you can find them still at retail. I mean, they're popping up like crazy. He is two for a, a case. And my Toys R Us right now, because they had a, a good abundance of uh, all these waves, that Toys R Us still has about eight of them on the peg. So he is a peg warmer simply because he was two for case. Um, I think I I think I own like four of these damn figures. Marvel Legends must own. Here we got Bishop. Bishop is such an amazing figure. Now this is the variant. There is a regular version which he has long hair and a little um, scarf around his neck. But I I do enjoy the variant a lot more. I like the bald headed look. But it's just an all-around smooth figure. They did a tremendous job with this figure. He comes with two guns. The other gun, I don't know where it's at right now. Um, he's got holsters for his guns. So he's got one right there. He's got one right there. The other one is like a, a double barrel shotgun. But, I mean, look at the paint on him. It's just so damn smooth. If you guys didn't know, this is a Toy Biz figure. I mean, come on now. You can just tell automatically what Toy Biz is compared to Hasbro articulation is there now he doesn't have a he's got waist movement but he doesn't have a a, a crunch it looks like he would with that gap right there but it does not move at all if yours moves let me know because um, mine doesn't but he's got all the articulation you would want finger articulation uh, good up and down head movement uh, arms you can see he's got the uh, he can hold his gun perfectly there is a peg hole in his hand just lay it down so you can see. See that? There's a peg hole right there in his hands so he can hold his guns perfectly. And you see how he holds the gun right there with his uh, finger, two fingers on a trigger. I mean, that's perfect right there. That's what you want. Great articulation everywhere. Damn smooth figure. Must own. Either version is a must own. I can't remember if I've shown this figure before, but I'm going to do it again. 
if I have. <laughs> so we got Mustone for DC. We have Blue Beetle. Uh, this is the modern version. This figure is absolutely flawless. I mean, such a cool paint that goes into this figure. Uh, the camera won't pick it up, but there's a uh, hints of blue you know well obviously blue but some purple in there mixed in with some black um, like I said the camera won't pick it up too well but if you own this figure just take a good look at it and just see the paint that they use for this figure so damn nice the articulation is all there double jointed elbows double jointed knees he's got a wrist hinge he's got uh, weapons the wings can come off on his back so that's a, a nice fun factor right there you see all the articulation there. The only thing it's really missing is an ankle pivot, but of course we don't have ankle pivots with these figures half the time. Uh, but like I said, just an amazing figure. Sculpt is damn near perfect. I mean, look at the face sculpt. I'm loving this figure. This is definitely, definitely a must-own action figure altogether. So you see the wings do come off the back, and you can see the scarabs or the scarab is on his back right there and that's not removable of course but uh, you can see the nice sculpt that they put on it you know it is kind of an eyesore with the three holes right there but you know it's not a huge deal breaker you can see the wings himself smooth smooth figure alright guys thanks again for tuning in now, of course, you guys already know Comic-Con is next weekend, so Sunday probably might not get a video in, but I will, like I said last week, we uploading a lot of pictures, so make sure you check us out. You know, we'll have cameras flowing in and out of that place. I mean, you'll have so much footage that you'll feel like you were actually there, too, so uh, just be on the lookout for that. Uh, make sure you subscribe to us on the ACBA community page. And just get out there and uh, support the art. Just have fun with it. And remember, beat the scalpers.